In this example, I would like to show you how you can process mapping images uh, with multiple slices and uh, different contrast. Uh, with here in this example, slices that cover the whole heart, 14 equally spaced images with native T1, post gadolinium T1, and ECV maps. I'm show you how you can avoid the processing of each individual image and how you can uh, process them as a stack of images. To do that, we will have to create a merge series by selecting the corresponding parametric maps. I am selecting right now all the ECV maps and I right click on them, select merge selected series. That will produce a new series containing the 14 images of ECV maps. I'm repeat the process for the native T1, for instance, and now I have two a series with ECV and pre-injection T1 map. I'm gonna start with contouring of the first stack, which is the ECV map. I will perform some contours. Now I perform a few contours, maybe every two or every three level. Then I generate the missing ROIs, so I have all my contours copied in and interpolated. So there are some small errors that I will be, of course, able to modify with repulsor tool. And now what I would like to show you is how you can spare a lot of time by copying these contours, by clicking the icon here and dropping on the other set of images. Of course, there were some errors that are copied on the other side, but you can see these uh, slight changes can be quickly modified. And to update, close it and reopen each of the series. And then you can see that you have a T1 value. So I hope you will enjoy these uh, time-saving uh, features to do your research. And thank you for your attention.